Hey guys, it's Katie, and today I'm going to be bringing you my June favorites. I am a few days late on this, but I don't know, better late than never, right? I did Valoon all throughout the month of June, which was vlogging every day in June. The very last few videos that I filmed, well, first of all, I kind of got off the wagon, is that the right saying? I got off the wagon a little bit, and so the last few days were kind of like all together and collective, and I edited it and made it like a whole thing, and then the audio was all kinds of cattywampus, look that word up, and so it didn't work, and I kept having to upload it and then delete it and upload it and delete it. I'm super annoyed because knock on fake wood, I had not had that problem the entire month of um, June during Bloom. So, boring, long story short, I need to re-edit it and try to upload it one last time with proper audio, and if not, then I'm sorry that the audio is bad. But today, I'm here to film a favorites video. So, I've been loving a lot of things during the month of June, but I have to be honest, most of the things that I'm loving are music favorites. So I don't have a lot of beauty, I don't have a lot of anything else, I just have a lot of music and just some fun things, so let's get into it. First of all, I made a little addition to my background here. And it's this giant letter K. For you know your girl Katie here. Um, Lauren gave this to me. Thank you, Lauren. So I thought I'd pop it right there. Oh no, you can't even see it. Maybe, maybe, Bueller. Kind of, I don't know. We're just gonna keep going with it. Let's actually hop into the beauty things that I'm loving. So first things first will be this lipstick that's on my mouth here. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is like a longtime favorite of mine. It's a lipstick by MAC in the color Pink Nouveau. I absolutely adore this shade. It is one of the satin formulas, but it's fairly matte on the lips, but not drying. Uh, really long lasting. It is kind of like a Barbie bubblegum pink. You see that? Kind of has some like cool tone lilac-y shades going on in it. And for somebody as fair as I am, I wasn't sure if it would be like something I could wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but I do it and I love it. I feel like it goes with every makeup look, or you can pretty much wear no makeup and wear like a fun pink lip. So I adore this stuff, Pink Nouveau, MAC, it's always in my collection. Another makeup favorite this month is actually this Honest Beauty Foundation. It is the Everything Cream Foundation. You probably can't even really see that but I have mine in the shade Snow. It's the lightest shade. This is something that I have not used in a really long time because I think I just haven't. I don't know, the packaging is kind of a pain, like the, the lid is kind of weird, but I never really would use the product and I think I had remembered it for whatever reason as being like, I don't know, just like too creamy of a formula and maybe not good for summer for something that would like melt off your face and like not really give a lot of coverage or not really do much. But I've been using it again and I was wrong. Like it's so pretty, it's so natural looking. It, it like gives you kind of like a tinted moisturizer but it just kind of evens out your skin tone and it's long lasting and it's easy to blend. I really like this stuff and it's all natural ingredients. So Honest Beauty Foundation. In true Katie form, I have a perfume of the month. I have a perfume of like the second, let's be honest. I'm really obsessed with perfume and it's kind of a problem. My new thing is that I think I need to not even smell new perfumes. Truly, because I have a laundry list of ones that I want as it is. I have a ton that I already own. I just need to stay away. Anyway, what I've been wearing this month, that was backwards. What I've been wearing this month is this guy. It's from Jo Malone. This, I say peony and blush suede, but I know some people say peony and blush suede. I don't know but it has peonies in it. I should probably look up the notes, huh? First of all, I'm an absolute sucker for Jo Malone fragrances. I don't know what it is, but there's something about them that just make me go wild. Truly, truly, truly. They all smell so different, and if you're not familiar, a lot of their fragrances are, I would say fairly one-dimensional. Like, they have one called Road Roses, they have one called French Lime Blossom, Pomegranate Noir, um, English Pear and Freesia. I'm just listing some that I really like. And they might have a few things in them, but for the most part, they're pretty straightforward. Like this is like peony, like I said, I'm looking it up, hold on. Okay, these are the notes. Red apple, peony, and suede. Like literally that's it. I feel like a lot of fragrances have, you know, vanilla mixed with, I, I don't know, I can't think of a good example, but I just feel like most fragrances are very layered and very complex. And while I, 
like that a lot. Jo Malone has kind of a really nice clean simplicity to it and then the whole idea of Jo Malone is that you can layer and build the fragrances and mix and match them. So they have fragrances in like the fruity category, in the spicy category, the floral category and then you can kind of mix and match and create your own scents. I really like this one on its own. It's also nice to match with different things. This is a really big bottle. I had gotten this at the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year and it's lasted me a really long time, but it's gorgeous, it's floral, it's very feminine, great for spring and summer. I don't tend to be that much of a floral person either, but I love this. It's just like feminine. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Go buy it or smell it. Guys, that's literally it for beauty favorites. So I'm gonna move on to a couple of other things and accessories. I've been loving these guys. These are by Key Australia, which is a sunglass brand. It looks like Quay, Q-U-A-Y, but it's actually pronounced Key. These are in the style Zeus. Uh, I got these from Nordstrom. Blue reflective lenses, you can probably see like my lighting and my camera in here, I don't know. But I just think that they're a really fun style. They feel like durable and, um, I was gonna say, like not lightweight, opposite of lightweight, I don't know. These were about $50, so key sunglasses are kind of like this cool upcoming designer type sunglass, but it's not like dropping three, four $400 on a pair of Tom Fords or Chanel's or something. They're cute, they're on trend, they have a bunch of different fun styles, they're well made, and they're not like the most cheap sunglasses on the planet, but they're not gonna totally break your bank, you know? So they're kind of something fun to splurge on. Check them out, they have a website. They do a lot of fun like celebrity collaborations or YouTuber collaborations, but they have a fair amount at Nordstrom as well. A book that I've been reading this month is this. This is Strong Looks Better Naked by Khloe Kardashian. I am almost done, so I don't know if I'm cheating because I'm not like totally done, but it's super easy to read, I mean, it, uh oh, I just lost my place. Now I guess I have to start all over. <laughs> just kidding. So this book came out, like she was going on her book tour right around the time that like Lamar Odom was found in the brothel and went to the hospital, that whole thing. So I know that she had written this book kind of about her journey and her transformation that happened when she was going through the divorce and just going through this painful process with Lamar. A lot of people know Khloe Kardashian has lost a lot of weight. She looks really great right now. And a lot of that was just because she was in this like deep, dark place going through a really hard time. And she found, you know, she found her clarity and her sanity in the gym. And so she talked about when they moved to Dallas, um, right? He played for the Mavericks after the Lakers. Yeah, not the Lakers, the Clippers. Shows how much I know about sports. But um, <laughs> they were in Dallas and she was there with him being his supportive wife, but she was super lonely and that's when things started to deteriorate and she would like take comfort in just going to the gym every day. So instead of laying around the house all day and just being alone and being bored, she would go to the gym all day every day. And so she talks a lot about how once her body started transforming, her mind was transforming, her spirit, kind of like everything and how they all work together. I was just reading the chapter talking about like being self-motivated and organized and there's this chapter where she talks about the no whining zone and I was so motivated. Like, Chloe's always been my favorite one. I know some people think the Kardashians are ridiculous, but whatever, they're doing something right. And I really like her and her advice was just like, do it, like stop whining, like stop feeling bad for yourself, like just do it. I don't know, and that sounds so much more harsh than like what it actually is. She is just, like let me see if I can read you an excerpt. Okay, this resonated with me. She's talking about how you have to make your own self strong. She said, I realize that you can't save other people and they can't save you. If you want to change your life, you have to do it yourself. And I just think like, I couldn't agree more and I feel like we've all been there. I know I've certainly been there where you really wanna save somebody or fix somebody or whatever and you can't like you can't you can provide all the support in the world but if they don't want it more than you and if they don't want it like at least halfway if they're not going to kind of get going then like you can't do anything and same goes for yourself you have to look after yourself and love yourself blah 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 blah, blah. whatever it's an entertaining read there are quotes there are recipes check it out on that note, I've also been loving this cute little notebook here that I got at Marshalls for like $5. It's like kind of a faux leather bound and it says, worry less, play more, which I love. It has this really fun print on the inside here. And then this is what I um, actually keep track of my YouTube stuff in. So like video ideas or things that I'm writing down. So I really love this and I love this color. And another thing that I love that is this color is this guy right here, which is my Bose 
sorry, have an itch, have an itch. Oh yeah, don't mind my crazy like hair. I think I have flyaways everywhere. Let's just let it happen, I don't know. Here I am. So, <laughs> this is my Bose Bluetooth speaker. I will link the exact one that it is down below. This is something that I had been kind of lusting over for a while because the color is adorable. Bose is a great brand and I had been wanting a Bluetooth speaker because if you didn't know this about me, I'm obsessed with music to the point of, I just am. I love listening to music. I love listening to it loud. I love listening to it in the car. I love music. I love, love, love music. So I wanted a Bluetooth speaker. Long story short, this one is really cute and it was on sale at Target, on Amazon, at Nordstrom, everywhere they sold it, it was on sale. It was only like 15% off or something like that, but I was like, you know what, I had my eye on it for a while. As soon as I saw it go on sale, I pulled the trigger. I had a Target gift card, so I went ahead and bought it. Naturally, I chose this Tiffany blue color. So there's that. Again, I will link this down below. And that's really all I have for you guys, except now I'm going to launch into my music favorites, which bear with me because I kind of have a few. So if you're not into this part of the video, I love you and goodbye, but if you are into this part of the video, then stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and play it on our speaker. Wait a second, I just remembered another favorite. Sorry to interrupt my own self. Going back before I do music, another favorite of mine is actually something on Netflix. It is, it's a movie, but it's a musical, and it is called The Last Five Years. It was originally a musical, I do believe, and then they made a film production of it with Anna Kendrick, and I don't know the guy who is her co-star, I should probably have looked that up. But anyway, it's this really, really, really cool musical with amazing music and I absolutely love Anna Kendrick. And it basically chronicles this relationship and this relationship that lasted five years. And it starts from the end, from her perspective, and goes backwards. And then it starts from the beginning of the relationship from his perspective and goes this way. And then they meet in the middle. And it is just really interesting. My friend Andrew recommended it to me. So, hi Andrew if you're watching. And thank you. It was great. Anna Kendrick can sing. I don't know if any of you knew that. I feel like more people know that now because she's done other musical things. But she is funny and a great actress and she can sing. Like, she's really talented. But that musical... I kind of hated the ending, but that tends to be me. I hate endings. I don't know, I just do. Especially when there's not, like, a definitive answer. I'm like, but then what? It was just interesting, I think, I mean, it resonated with me for sure. I think certain songs and certain parts of it and seeing this relationship from like the girl's point of view and then from the guy's point of view and like the things that happened throughout and how each of them changed over the course of time. And it definitely resonated with me and it was definitely very interesting. So I would highly recommend that to you guys if you like musicals, if you like Anna Kendrick, you like things about relationships that like make you think I don't know if any of those sound like they might be you you should check it out for sure it's on Netflix but now I'm gonna go back into my music favorites so as I was saying anybody who spent any amount of time with me this month or watched any of my vlogs knows that I had a full-blown love affair with the Nick Jonas album the new Nick Jonas album that came out it is called last year was complicated I love that name and the song that immediately stood out to me as being like a, oh my gosh, this is in my top favorite songs of life now, was the following. I take a chance out to the sofa where I had your body close to so long, so long. It's Chainsaw. It's an amazing song. Watch my vlog that's called The Best Breakup Song because... I go off on a rant about it on there, but it's just an awesome song. Nick Jonas is like, he was always my favorite of the Jonas Brothers and he is here, he is ready, he is delivering. Like this is really good music. I don't know what else to say. It's just great music and Chainsaw is my favorite of life. Other songs that are amazing, I really love Touch. Trust me, I'll be so good for you, baby. Voodoo is great. Champagne Problems. How many times have we been here before? The Difference. Unhinged. Like the whole album. The whole album is amazing. But Chainsaw for sure has my heart and my soul. So Chainsaw, Nick Jonas, the whole album. Another song that I heard thanks to Viviana Mm, a few weeks ago, like six-ish weeks ago, I feel like it was before it started getting really big because now it's really big. But how do you not love this song is Needed Me by Rihanna. 
Like, it's so good. She is just so bad. And the beat is so good. I was good on my own, that's the way it was. That's the way it was. Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? You need me. So that's one for the books. Love that song. Gets the party going. You needed me. Enough said. It's great. I could probably go on and on and on because I've been like reliving like old music favorites and discovering new things, etc, etc. But I will just comment on two more songs that I've been listening to a lot during this month. One of which is by my boy Troy Savon. I have mentioned him before. He is amazing. He's so talented. He's so cool. His sound is so new. What? What word was that? Unique. And he has a song off of his album Blue Neighborhood called Suburbia. It's such a cool song. It's basically talking about um, he's reflecting on like growing up and like his hometown and he talks about because now he's this kind of up and coming like famous guy and he says there's so much history in these streets you know here let me just play the chorus I'm floundering there's so much history in these streets and my eyes could be so I don't repeat so much history in my head the people I've left the ones that I've kept have you heard me on the video did you turn it off reflecting on life and the people that have been in his life, the people that are still in his life, no longer in his life, etc. And he says, did you hear me on the radio? Did you turn it up? Like, you know, I, I can only imagine for somebody who is young and up and coming and becoming successful with their music career and he's just reflecting on his hometown and suburbia and the whole thing. So check Choice of On out for sure. And then another band that I've been super into is the 1975. They're great. And a specific song that I've been loving a lot is called Heart Out. They're just a super cool sound. I think they're from England. The UK somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Because they also have a song called like American Girl or something American and they're like kind of low-key making fun of Americans or referencing Americans. This song though, it kind of has like an 80s vibe to it. It's just so cool, I love it. I just can't stop dancing. Wait a second! How could I forget? Sorry, excuse me. The only other answer to like what the best song of the month is, you're, you're gonna know it's coming. If you don't know what's coming, when I just said, makes me dance, blah, 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 blah. Please hold, please hold, please hold. Darn you guys, now I just thought of another one too. Okay, two more, two more, and then I'm gonna stop talking about music, but I told you this was a month of music. So, a little throwback band from high school, Thrice, came out with a new album. Sometimes you gotta give credit where credit is due. It's a good album, and this song is my favorite. If I can find any of these songs, because I can't. So I've been super into kind of like my throwback bands, like Taking Back Sunday, Brand New, The Used, Dashboard Confessional. I'm never not into those bands, but I've been like re-listening to them a lot. And Brand New had come out with a new song, Taking Back Sunday had come out with a new song. So then Thrice came out with a new album and I was like, all right, let's listen. But the song Hurricane. It's pretty good. And last but not least, this is the song that I said you guys would know because who doesn't like this song? I think this is already the anthem of 2016. I feel like it's a great song for every age, every person. And if this song doesn't play at every wedding that I ever go to for the rest of my life, I'm gonna be upset. So I'm gonna leave you on this note. Like, <sighs> I 
can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Put that song on and tell me you don't want to dance. I was out at the bar with my friend Marianne and we were like kind of talking seriously and that song came on and I was just like, like I can't, I can't help it. Hence why it's called Can't Stop This Feeling. It's very fitting. On all of those notes, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that was a little all over the place perhaps, but when is it not? There weren't many beauty favorites, but there were some other favorites. And we're already in July here. And oh, another big favorite of mine is my nephew, Gary Joseph Lujan. He was born on June 28th, 2016. That is my older brother and sister-in-law's first baby and I'm a first time aunt and I'm so excited I get to go home later this month to meet him and see the family so yay for babies now I am done thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're doing well and I'll catch you soon love you bye